Davis, welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase. And let me ask a question. Ep- as episode 82, right? 82. Exactly. We're counting, we're counting. Come down to 100. <laughs> We've got something special for the 100 episode. We're still discussing if it's going to be 100 minutes of Cut to the Chase or which something else, which is definitely not. <laughs> no time for that. Melissa is like, no, I don't want to hear you for talking for 100 minutes. Today, let me ask you a question. When is the last time that rev- you reviewed your re- ecosystem around yourself in terms of real estate? Uh, what are we talking? Green party? No, we are warming. talking about ecosystem. people around yourself that facilitate you, help your ah. business. We're talking about brokers, lawyers, handymen, referrals. Have you reviewed it or are you just passing on referrals or leads to people and never know what's happening on the other side? Yeah, no, I haven't thought about it actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. and, and I used to though, and, the, and I think the key for me, and it's a nice way of sort of packaging that ecosystem that connects, right, that brings business. I think that where people miss is they refer, but they need to make sure the people they're referring through know that this is the law of reciprocity. I've sent you two leads, um, love you like chocolate, you do a great job, but I'm also, you know, where's my love coming back? now? Yeah. Some people say that's a little bit too hard, but look, you know, it's all about an ecosystem and warming up your own pockets as well, right? It is, and the way that I do it personally, and uh, I'm not perfect at it, but I've got a broker, I've got a lawyer, I've got a handyman, I've got a a gardener. Everything that is needed when you're looking to help someone selling a house or buying a house, like a, a, a building inspector. Now, what I do, I've got, of course, a template. When somebody needs something, I'll send them the whole thing. But most importantly, somebody asks for a handyman and I'll give them the handyman contact. I would then message my handyman and say, I've passed on your details to such and such, such. and such and such. Yes. And then I've got them all in a text message. Next time I'm going to see him, I normally what I do, I open my text messages like, Paul, I've sent you this referral, that referral, that referral, that referral, that referral. What happened? Have you helped them? And normally they're actually really good. But you got a bit of a case study at the end of the year saying, I've sent you 32 referrals. Not once I've got a listing because you recommended me. me. Paul, what, what's going wrong here, right? Yeah, do I have to find a, a new yes? Exactly. So you're going to keep, well, first things first, let me take it one step backwards. People that you refer, let me repeat it. People that you refer, you've got to vet them. You've got to be sure that they know that if, you, if they let you down, you're going to be losing the listing. So that is crucial. I don't put people on my list unless they very bloody know that they got to look after my clients and yes. their interests. Because otherwise, I'm the one get put under the bus because I refer them. That goes without saying, but let's say it. Second of all, yeah, you need to have people that are actually going to do a good job because otherwise it's going to delay the point of going on the market, getting <laughs> the listing ready and all of that. By exactly. law of association, they think he was no good. So, you know, Diego's put me on to someone. Yeah, chat, chat, chat. Yeah. yeah. So you got to curate it and you got to nurture it and you got to keep those people accountable so that at the end of the year, nice shirt, eh? Yeah, uh, I was just, I was uh, looking uh, at that gun. Where do you get yeah, that? Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Theodore in Australia. The lady wanted to come and see me next week, but I told him, I'm right, back on task. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ecosystem. So, look, nurture it. Cre- uh, create it, nurture it, and maintain it, but keep them accountable so that you can actually get something out of it as well as they help you with your business, right? Good, you gotta put them on point. Cut to the chase. Think about your ecosystem.